it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today we have a fun video for you. We are going to be going over all my crafty fun finds that I purchased off of Amazon the other day. Stuff that I'm going to be using for craftsmiths and tutorials after that. So I'm super excited to go over what I purchased. The first thing I purchased, and you can't tell from the way the box looks, I'm sure that this is going to have to be assembled, is a my lefo i think is how that my lefo cup term term so this is to use to do epoxy tumblers and stuff like that and let's see let's open her up so yeah as you can see it's all in a lot of pieces so if you want to see a tutorial of me putting this together i can do that as well i think that might be kind of interesting so i got oh i've got a cup turner then i also purchased the Ji Jong Ji Gong heat tool, and this is like a mini heat gun. Um, it's supposed to be able to help like get bubbles and stuff out of your cups when you're doing epoxy tumblers. It looks something like this. I will do a review over that as well. I have to buy a little bit of everything. I also purchased this because I couldn't find this locally at any of my craft, favorite craft stores. And this is just like a wall mounted beer opener or bottle opener. I have a fun craftsmith project for this. And this was $5. And the cup turner was like $44 and, or $39, I can't remember for sure. And the heat tool was $15. I also purchased inkjet water slide decal paper. This is by Sunny Scopa, and I think this was $15 for 20 sheets, and these are eight and a half by 11 inch sheets. So we're gonna be working on some water slug decals. I also picked up some of the Aileen's acrylic sealer in gloss finish. I have some acrylic sealer, but it was a matte finish, and I didn't wanna have to go to the craft store, and I think this was $9. So, and you have to have some type of acrylic sealer from what I've found out for the water slide decals. This box, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna try to open it because they got it taped pretty good, is epoxy to do the cups. So I bought a little bit of everything to do it. I already have cups here, but I needed all the other supplies. And this was $25 and there's it's a two-part epoxy and they are eight ounce bottles for $25. That seems so expensive. So if y'all know of anywhere to get epoxy at a cheaper price, and I may be able to get it cheaper at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, I just didn't look. As I said, I was already on Amazon. So that's what I ordered. And then last but not least, the Cricut Easy Press Mini. I don't know why this excited me so much. This is $69, two day shipping on Amazon. May have been able to get it cheaper other places. Didn't even try, because I wanted it quick. And it is a tiny, tiny little thing. So let's see if we can open up the box. How do I open up this box? Ah, from the front, I think. There's a sticker on it. I haven't even opened it up yet. But I it was excited for the size of this because like I can use my flat iron to do a lot of things like on the backs of shoes and on the tongues of shoes, but this I'm hoping will work better when I'm wanting to do like the front toes of shoes, if that makes sense. My mother-in-law gave me a pair of her old bands that she wore a hole in that I'm gonna try to fix using vinyl, but you know i didn't know how exactly i was going to get the vinyl to adhere there we go too many cricket they put so much tape it seems like on these things oh my god that is so adorable <laughs> look at that it is just the tiniest cutest little thing ever and it comes with a stand and there are instructions in here with it but look at that I am 
so in love. And look, it looks like a little iron. It's got some weight to it though. I'm hoping that this works better than the Clover Mini Iron. So we are gonna be doing a testing and review over this little guy. So, hopefully this is kind of giving you some of my train of thought for Craftsmas. I'm super excited for it. I can't wait to play with this little guy. He's so tiny. He does have settings. My mother-in-law was like, does he have digital readings? You like how I call him a he? No, it does not. But I told her, I was like, where would they put it? And I think this is like three and a half inches by two inches. I mean, it is smaller than the palm of my hand. But it, maybe I have big man hands. Who knows? But if you want to see a review of this, let me know. Let me know which product you're most excited to see. We'll see how soon we can get it worked in for Craftsmas and with testing out videos. Don't forget to check us out on all of our social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. Remember, I post new videos every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but as soon as October 1st starts, it is seven days a week. It is nothing but Craftsmas. A new craft every single day. But I guess that's it. Don't, oh, check out my second channel, which is just Betsy Gocher. I do all my makeup, vlogs, all that kind of stuff there. So if you want to learn a little bit more about me or see like when we go on vacation or videos and stuff like that, that's where you'll be able to see all that. But I guess that's it. So we'll see y'all later. Bye.